you are welcome to, to the third, third day, day of our, our breakfast conference for the month of February. Of February. Want, want to bless, to bless the, name the name of the Lord, Lord for, for keeping us, us for, for helping, helping us. us. I just, I just want, want you to go before, before him, him and begin to magnify his name again tonight. tonight. Exalt the name of the Lord. The psalmist says, Oh, my oh, magnify, magnify the Lord with me. And let, and let us, us praise, praise him together. together. Say this, this poor, poor man cried, cried and the Lord, Lord heard him. him. Said, said, I, I sought, sought the Lord, Lord and, he and he answered me. me. Why, Why don't, don't you also bless, bless the name of the Lord tonight? tonight. Give, him give him all, all the glory, give him all the honor. honor. I appreciate, appreciate him. him. If you are joining, joining us online, online, it's so good to have, have you join us tonight. tonight. For a, for a time, time of fellowship, fellowship in the presence of the living God. God. Our, God Our God has been good. The Bible, Bible says the Lord is good and his mercies endures forevermore. It's of, it's of his goodness, goodness and his tender mercies that we are where we are, where we are today. today. Just, Just with, with, a heart, with, with an heart of gratitude, give him glory. glory. The God, the God that, that opens the door and no man can shut. The Lord, the Lord that releases favor. The Lord, the Lord that speaks the things even that, that we cannot even imagine, imagine into existence in our destiny. The God that fights our battles. The Lord that defends us. I want us to magnify his name tonight. Father, we just come with a heart of gratitude, even to appreciate you, to say, Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy of all the praises. You are worthy of all the honor. You are worthy of all the worship. We acknowledge your doings in our midst. I want you to thank the Lord for all our breakfast conferences, for what the Lord does. Oh, the Lord answers prayers. Yes, he's been consistently answering our prayers. I know without a doubt that you and I will have testimonies on account of this program. Just like the scripture says, he has not asked for the house of Israel to seek him in vain. We have not been seeking the Lord in vain in this house. And for that, I want us to bless the name of the Lord. Our Father, I come and Lord, you answer me. And for that, I am grateful tonight. I've come with a heart of gratitude. Lord, I've come with a heart to, to bless your name. I've come tonight, oh God, to give you all the glory. I've come tonight, oh God, able to say you alone are worthy to receive all the praise. And Lord, I, I want us to ask of him tonight as we have come. He will yet meet with us again in his own special way. I want you to pray that which he has in store for you on the third day, the third day, the third day will not pass you by. That which the Lord is cooking up for you, you will not miss out of it tonight in the name of Jesus. Pray for those who are on their ways that the Lord will grant them his speed. He will hasten their steps as they come. In the mighty name of Jesus, that which he has prepared for us, we will not miss out of it. In the name of the Lord Jesus. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. God of oh yes, you are God, you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for us. Our God, you are God of oh my yourself. That's what makes you so unique, our Father. The Alpha and the Omega. Nobody in the class like you are. Thank you for what you're set to do tonight. To you be all the glory. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Please put your hands together and welcome a neighbor to the house of the Lord tonight. As I make welcome restoration voices. Celebrate God as they come to lead us. Beautiful evening with our hymn, The Champion.
you together. I come before my Lord and King, the one who gave his life for. I'll raise the bar. Go! 
have our strength. In you, we have our enablement. In you, we have our courage. We boast in your name, Jesus. Because upon the calling of your name, every knee shall bow. In your presence is glory. In your presence is liberty. Breakthrough, healing. Father, we bless you tonight. For the great and mighty things you're about to do in our midst. Nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you. There's nothing like your presence, Lord. All I want is to be with you.
lift up your beautiful voices. You are God, you are God. You're Jehovah. You are God, oh. You are God. The greater than the greater. The mightier than the mightiest. The only wise God. And we worship. You are God. You are God. And we we bless you tonight and we declare that you are our God the only true God thank you Father for in Jesus mighty name we have worshipped Amen hey, Jesus is our God indeed and he deserves to be worshipped Amen we may be seated in God's presence thank you very much restoration voices more grace in Jesus name quickly we would like I said more grace in Jesus' name. It's a prayer. Thank you. Um, would like to take a few testimonies. If we have anybody in the house, I would love to testify um, on account of this breakfast conference or previous conferences or whatever what the Lord has done. We want to give him all the glory. Amen. I'll start us off tonight. Um, two days ago, um, I was driving home, and I suddenly realized I was tired. I was to go somewhere, so I changed my mind. I will just go home. But the tiredness was just getting worse. And um, before I knew it, I'd actually slept off while driving on the highway. I opened my eyes, and the car in front of me was less than 10 feet. I'm like, oh, really? So I grabbed a bottle of water. I was looking for candy or something. To just keep me going. And truly, when I got home, I couldn't even take off my winter coat. I just went on the couch. I was like, what happened? But I just want to thank God for his deliverance and for his safety. And the prayer we prayed yesterday was a prayer that I really keyed into. Um, I, I, some things happened yesterday that didn't make me too happy. And then we came to church, we prayed certain prayers, I mean, those prayers that we prayed. And I said, God, I must see this prayer tomorrow at work. This prayer must start working by tomorrow. That was my own. Like, as we are praying it today, tomorrow, let it start working. And I want to stand there to give God all the glory. That's my testimony. It worked for me. And went to a different uh, province. province. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So, the last time that he was there, we went to, he went for an assessment. So, they told him they were going to put him in a, a very little town, about 400 people. Can you imagine? That wasn't with my problem. So, there was this other city he stayed, which was it's not city, I shouldn't call it city. It's a town, but beautiful, it's nice. And I liked it there. But they're taking him to this little, I will call it a village. They're taking him into this little town. We got there, I was very sad. I didn't want him to be there because although I don't visit people, but I want to be amongst people. So I was really, really sad in my heart. But then I, could, I called my brother and I said, I don't like where they took my, where the, my husband would be going. And he shut me up. He said, how can you be so ungrateful to God? After 10 years that you've been praying that God should help him to practice here in Canada. So because of that, I actually shut up. But inside of my heart, I was, I was sad. So <laughs> I got home like a kid. I was ashamed to meet my father. But in my heart, I said, Daddy, <laughs> you that started this thing, you should finish it for me now. Because if I go to this village, I will never be happy. Let this testimony be complete. But all to this, this daddy, he said the, the meditations of our heart, he understands. Because I couldn't speak it, I was li listening. But do you know, the week he came back here, the doctor that was there resigned. So when he got here, now they now told him he should go to that 
town that I was actually looking for. So the Lord made a way where there was no way. Hallelujah. Miracle working God. Amen. We have someone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank God because um, I was offered a, a new job today. And, uh, yeah. and um, I also got my G2 today, so after feeling it the first wow. time. Yeah. Oh, glory to the Lord. <laughs> Congratulations. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to thank God on behalf of my sisters. So my, my, my eldest sister is about like four years older than me. <clears throat> Back in Nigeria, she studied medicine. But then she moved to the U.S. with her family. And she couldn't get a job for like six, seven, eight, even up to ten years. And then she had to go back to school to study medicine again. But the testimony is she was the overall best. And when she was ranking, she, was, she said she picked her own speci specialty. I don't, I don't really know much about medicine. But she said she wanted radiology, that it's easy, it pays so much money. And then she has done like 18 to 20 interviews. And everyone has have been coming to, because your husband is a physician too, they've been saying, let your wife work with us. And I'm grateful because today they're running after her. Before, she was the one begging, let me get him, but now she's in. All glory to God. And my, and my second testimony is for my second sister. She's like two years older than me. Mm -hmm. She was, everybody went to OAU, even my, all my sisters, my brother. She graduated from economics. Then she looked for a job for so long she didn't get. And then she did an MBA. She still didn't, did not get a job. Then she left Nigeria and went to the U.S., and she was all confused. But in the middle of the confusion, my brother-in-law suggested she should just go and do nursing. And then she started nursing. She thought it was easy. And then she got to a point that she was going to leave because it was too hard. But something happened. She got back into the program. And I thank God because last month she passed her final exams. And even before finishing, she already got different placements. She already has contracts of where she would work. And I want to thank God because of her children, because she and her family were separated. Her husband has been in Nigeria for like the past five years. Tried to get back into the U.S., couldn't get in. But I thank God because all the process of green card, everything has all been sorted out. Hallelujah. And everybody is happy. It's just Amen. a happy moment. And I Amen. give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Praise God. Um, so I've kind of delayed this testimony. I mean, I didn't delay it. I literally just got my prayer answered. Um, but this is like regarding my PR. So I've been, uh, I have a timeline here because like I have to take notes. <laughs> And uh, so I, I was in the pool like in September 2021. That's how long I've been in the pool. And initially when I applied, I got an invitation to apply. So I, I applied September 10. Then I got an invitation to apply, um, to apply on like September 14th. So it was just four days. And I was so happy because I've heard stories of how people had to wait for so long to get their ITA. But like mine was just four days, right? So... After I got that ITA, I realized that I put the wrong name, my wrong name. So I had to decline the um, invitation and I reapplied on September 20th. But that was when IRCC stopped giving ITA in 2021. So I had to be in the pool from September 20, uh, 2021 to September 20, 2022. So my profile was going to expire in a year, right? And as at July last year, IRCC hasn't like started giving ITA back. So I was like, okay, what's going on? I was just crying every night and I was like, I don't want to have to reapply, right? IELTS again and all those like everything that I had to do, right? I didn't want okay. to do it again. And like I said, I want to always like write things or do things on time. So I already did like medicals paid, medicals was already expiring. Like everything was just, you know, just, yes, exactly. So 
Um, my profile was going to expire September 20, right? And IRCC started um, invitation to apply, like inviting people to apply in July. And my score was not even up to, I think when IRCC started, it started at 555 or something. I know these things because I had to, like, it was in my head, right? I have to, I have to check every day. So... Uh, my profile was on for something. So I was like, God, like my profile is actually going to expire before IRCC like gives me like ITA, right? But for some weird reason, I checked one day and my profile jumped to 520. And I'm like, what? Like there was nothing. I couldn't explain how that profile like just automatically changed, right? And IRCC just gave me like ITA like in August 31st when my profile was going to expire in September, right? Yeah. So I was so happy and I like reapplied for my medicals and did everything again. And I submitted all the documents that was needed. Then IRCC contacted me and said that they have serious concerns that I didn't work as I like wrote in my application. And I was like, God, what is this? And that was like in January, like um, I think that was January 5th or so. So I was like, God, like what's happening? <laughs> But for, I, I just like went through it with my friend and I like went back to my application and submitted all the right documents. And five days later, I got my PR and I was like, what? That confused. So like, God is just so good because my parents as well, they applied for visa for a year. They didn't get a response. But this month, they just Release. approved their visa. So I was like, go. <laughs> My sister as well, awesome. she's been applying to schools for some reason. Um, the program she wants to do is nutrition. And you can't do master's in nutrition in Canada if you're not accredited or something like of that sort. But she got admission again this, this month. So like wow. January, I mean last month. Amen. So January was just like <laughs> the best. So I just want to give Amazing. God the glory. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing. Amazing. Let's rise to our feet and give glory to God who does wonders. Oh, sorry. I didn't know. I thought you were working with your degree. All right. Praise the Lord. Uh, my testimony starts from back in November. Uh, I had my book, my tree to for a Friday and uh, the Wednesday of, so I, I booked a driving instructor just to have a refresher course and then on the Wednesday of that week, I felt really sick. I caught the flu. And then it was really hard to basically get up from bed on Wednesday night. And then I tried texting the instructor, and he, he also was offline. So I had two different issues at hand, and I had my test for Friday. Uh, so on Thursday, I was looking for other instructors. And luckily, I found one. Uh, he came that same Thursday. And then as we were, we were practicing, I was still sick, so I wore my mask. But as we were practicing, all he was telling me, I didn't really do well. So all he was telling me was, uh, I don't think you'll pass tomorrow. <laughs> so, and I was like, if I don't take it tomorrow, I'll have to like, pay extra. I didn't want to pay. So I just, I just went back home, and then I, I self-evaluated myself. And I was just thinking about what I should, the mistakes I made, and trying not to make them again. I was praying for good health. So Friday came. We had another, another like testing session on Friday, early in the morning before the test, because the test was for 9:55. So we started practicing by eight, and then God gave me strength. And all He was saying after that test was, "I'm going to pass." <laughs> and then we thank God that I passed. And uh, thank you. Amen. Thank you. And uh, today, January, uh, God provided me and my family, and provided me with a new car. So, and now we're driving. So, thank God. Beautiful. Amen. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let's rise to our feet and celebrate God. Awesome Father. Faithful God. It's to you that we have come to give the glory, not unto man. Our hearts celebrate, rejoices in the things that you do. Because only you could make our life so beautiful. And Lord, we give you glory. Thank you because you meet with us again tonight. And you have your way. Lord, we place the seal of the Holy Ghost upon every testimony tonight. They will not be stolen in any way in Jesus' name. Thank you, precious Father. 
in Jesus name we have prayed please put your hands together as I welcome our pastor to be a blessing to us let's give it up to the king of kings the lord of lords come on we can do better than that come on come on give it up to God the lord that has sustained us in the past three days thank you father Because you didn't clap while well, we we'll sing. Maybe you know the song or you don't know it. Unquestionable is the Lord. Then we'll worship him. Amen. Why I can help us. Unquestionable is the Lord. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. If you believe that, questionable, unquestionable, unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, come on now. Unquestionable, 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 you are the Lord. Just worship him tonight. I want you to exalt him tonight. All of my enemies, your banner of peace is love. Let's give the Lord a round of applause now. Come on, let's give him a round of applause. Let's celebrate him. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. you. May be seated. Let's turn our Bibles to Acts of Apostle chapter 28. Acts chapter 28. 
Lord, we pray you breathe over your word. Minister to our spirit man. Transform our mind. Change us from inside out. Do new things again tonight. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. From verse 1, and when they were escaped, then they knew that the island was called Melita. Let's read together from verse 2. And the barbarous people showed us no little kindness, for they came to the fire and received us everyone because of the present rain and because of the cold. Verse 3. And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, there came a viper out of the heat and fasting on his hand. Verse 4. And when the barbarians saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, No doubt this man is a murderer, whom though he had escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffers not to leave. Verse 5. And he shook up the beast into the fire and felt no harm. Verse 6. How bit it looked when it should have swollen or fallen down dead suddenly. But after they had looked a great while and saw no harm come to him, they changed their minds, said that he was a God. Amen. Don't forget on the one who said the great escape. And we looked at Acts 27. We saw the tempest. We saw the contrary wind. We saw the plan of the enemy to derail us any time we want to get into new things. You know, the enemy tried to derail them from getting to the 28th chapter of the book of Acts. And thank God that the book of Acts is actually the beginning of the end. And the enemy did not want us to see this Acts chapter 28 or Paul to get to, the, to this Acts 28. And don't forget, a lot took place in this chapter 28, but we won't be able to look at all of them in this three-day conference. Maybe in the future we'll look at it again. Then we look at yesterday. The Lord opened our eyes also to see the great embrace, how the barbarous people showed them no little kindness. We saw, you know, how they showed them courtesy. And we prophesy that as you walk in this land, men will embrace you. The heart will help you. Receive it. I said the heart will help you. Oh, you know, we read, if you remember, we read in Revelation chapter 12, how a woman had a baby and the dragon was waiting to consume the baby. We said the new thing God is bringing to your hand, the enemy will not steal it from you. Come on, the enemy will not steal the new things from you in the name of Jesus. Those testimonies, the enemy will not steal them from you. Oh, God will move you from glory to glory. So tonight, we want to look at the great expression. The great expression. What do I mean? Manifestations. And we see this in different form. From verse 3, remember, the barbarous people kindled a fire because of the cold, because of the rain. You would think Paul, who has been walking, who has been serving, you think Paul will stay still. You know, there are some people, they can't stay still. They just love serving. Paul also helped them in, in, the, in kindling the fire. What an expression of service. This man would just not sit down. He was part of it. And that's what God expects from us. To keep serving. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, keep serving. Oh, I can't hear you. I say, keep serving. Bible says in verse 3, And when Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks. You see, Paul. He wouldn't just sit down. I remember the barbarous people pitied them. That these people were 
wearied. These people were torn apart with the shipwreck. And they kindled a fire for them. But Paul was part of it. That's the first part of the expression. His service. And the Bible says, he gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire. And there came a viper <laughs> out of the heat and fastened on his hand. You thought the enemy would leave this guy alone. But we see manifestation, expression of God's power in this passage. Because when we talk of viper, I've treated a lot of snake bite in Africa, especially in South Africa. When I practice in South Africa, a lot of snake bite. Very poisonous. We have to be looking for, you know, antivenom. And I've seen them. When a snake fasting his teeth or anything or fang on you and instill the venom, your hand will just be swelling. And it's interesting that the barbarous people haven't observed that, haven't seen many people die from snake bite. Have you watched snake bite on maybe the geography or what do you call it, right? What do you call it? National, National Geographic. Thank you, yeah. Very interesting. And I've seen it live and I've treated a lot of people. In fact, there are some people you have to cut their hands because if, if it keeps swelling, you know, there's something we call compression syndrome. You know, because your body should not swell to, you know, uh, to a certain stage or level. It will be compressing your veins, your artery, your nerves, every part of your, and that's how people just die. So they expected Paul, Paul's hand to swell. But thank God for his power. May the power of God come upon you tonight. Oh, only for a few people. I say, may the power of God come upon you tonight. There are different types of beasts which we want to deal with tonight. Beast that has fastened to a lot of ants. Beast of anger. Beast of lies. These are beasts. Beast of envy. Beast of jealousy. Beast of bitterness. You know it. Beast of unforgiveness. Beast of impatience. Restlessness. Different types of beast. Sexual immorality. A lot of beast. And these beasts are biting hard into Christians. But tonight, what Paul did is what we are going to do. We are going to shake up the beast into the fire. Come on, tell your neighbor, shake up the beast into the fire. Oh, your neighbor can hear you say, shake up the beast into the fire. So we're going to be praying tonight. We want to shake off those beasts into the fire. The beast that can kill us. The beast that can suffocate us. The beast that can hinder us from enjoying the new things God has brought us into. Remember, you have escaped. Remember, the land has embraced you. The earth will help you. But you don't want some beast to hinder you, to kill you, to prevent you from enjoying these new things God has brought into your life. We want to shake off those beasts into the fire tonight. How many people will pray? Come on, how many people will pray? Now, let me share this. Oh, okay, I'm on. It's global. I won't share it. But let me, okay, let me, let me share it in parable. I, I know a man was overtaking a fault. A man. By a man of God. Overtaking a fault. My wife and I were there. The way people dealt with this man of God was really terrible. Let me tell you, if you don't deal with those beasts, now, people are nasty. We met this man with his inner caucus. I didn't even know. You know, women pay a lot of attention. I, we just had a meeting. 
within a caucus, out of about maybe 15 to 20. My wife said, when I went back to the main auditorium, only one went to him to show compassion. Only one. And come and see what people are digging out. We must deal with the beast tonight. Because we live in a world that does not forgive easily. Even look at the barbarous people. They thought this man must be a reasoner. Do you know people rationalize everything you pass through? They think it's because of your sin. You remember Job's friends? They were pointing, accusing fingers on him. The same thing happened in this passage whereby they criticize him. Do you know when you pass through negative things, people are quick to judge you. People are quick. To start saying what, to start rationalizing, saying things you don't even do. People are quick. People are merciless. They are quick to criticize. Just like the barbarian. Don't fall into the hands of religious people. Don't fall into their hands. They reason out things with carnal minds. They believe calamity. Is a proof of evil or sin. As we say, maybe your father sinned. They will trace it to your hometown. They will trace it to your family line, your bloodline. They will start saying things upon things. That's why you want to deal with the beast tonight. Tell your neighbor, shake up the beast into the fire. Come on, say, shake up the beast into the fire. Oh, say it again. Shake up the beast into the fire. We're going to be praying tonight. And I pray that the Lord will help you. God will manifest his power through your life. Look, human beings are so interesting. Look at the way they change their mind again. They expected the hand to swell. They expected him to die. The said Nemesis are caught up with Paul. He said he escaped the sea. <laughs> this man must be a real sinner. That's why he can't escape it on the ground. And they expected him to die. But when the man just shook up the beast into the fire, they now said they waited. Yeah, some people are waiting. Some have been waiting on us in this restoration house. Some are waiting on the fence. But thank God for God. Because God will manifest his power through you. Oh, receive it. I say God will manifest his power through you. He says they change their mind again. Men can change their mind. He must be a God. A sinner. He <laughs> must be a God. <laughs> they can say Ade Guna and say Ade Ogun. Say, crown him now. And tomorrow you say, ah, don't crown him again. Men are just men. But thank God. Because the Bible says the earnest expectation. He said the heart is groaning. They are waiting. For the manifestation of the sons of God. May God empower you in this conference tonight. Come on, may God empower you tonight so that you go out there, you express his goodness, you express his power. Come on, you express his love and God will back you up in the name of Jesus. So let's be on our feet as we pray. We're going to pray. Today is Friday night and we want power. How many people want power? So don't rush out tonight. How many people want power? You will receive power tonight. Come on, you will receive power tonight. Oh, you don't believe me. I say you will receive power tonight. I want you to begin to thank God first. Just thank him for the great escape from the tempest, from the storm, from the contrary wind. 
from the cancer, from the plans, from the manipulation of Satan. I want you to thank him. I want you to appreciate him. I want you to thank him for the great embrace. I want you to thank him. I want you to thank him. I want you to thank him for favor in the land. I want you to thank him for the dominion over the sun, over the moon, over the stars. I want you to thank him for commanding the gates of the waters, the gates of the rivers to open up for you. I want you to thank him. I want you to thank him for royal passage in this land, in your community, for opening the doors, for lifting the gates. Just thank him. Just thank him tonight. I want you to give him all the glory. Give him all the glory. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. 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 Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want you to pray and just say, Viper in the city, preventing my emergence. Die in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, deal with the viper now. Deal with the viper. Every viper in the city, in the land, every viper, preventing my emergence, preventing my emergence, preventing me from enjoying the new things God has brought into my life, preventing or injuring my double portion, every viper in the city, Every viper laying, oh, in wait for me. Every viper, every viper secretly hiding, preventing my emergence. Let the fire of God consume them tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. You want to now shake up the beast into the fire. This is prophetic demonstration. You know the beast in your life. You know those beasts. Anger, it may be unforgiveness. You want to shake them into the fire. Just say, I shake off every beast operating in my life. Every beast, every beast, every beast. I shake them off into the fire of God tonight. Impatience, restlessness, whatever beast. You know the name. Every beast, shake them off into the fire. Let the fire of God consume them tonight. I want you to walk through the altar, walk through the aisle. Shake them off into the fire. Be like Paul tonight. Prophetic demonstration. Tonight, shake off the beast. Shake off the beast. Anger. Senti you know, sentiment. Emotional problem. Shake them off. Shake them off. Shake them off. It could be stranger. It could be sickness. It could be... Oh, every, every beast operating in your life, restlessness, impatience, anger, whatever beast, shake them off into the beast tonight. Shake them off into the beast tonight. Shake them off into the beast tonight. Irrational thinking, shake them off into the beast tonight. Just shake them off into the beast tonight. Every beast operating in my life, I shake you off. I shake you off. Beast of bitterness, envy, lies, unforgiveness, jealousy, impatience, restlessness. Whatever beast, whatever name you are called, I shake you off tonight. 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 Oh, you are not praying. Shake it off. 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 Sexual immorality, shake it off tonight. Shake it off tonight. Every beast, shake them off tonight. It could be alcoholism, it could be an addiction. Whatever beast operating in your life, I want you to shake them off. Shake them off. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, raw strife, sedition, murder, drunkenness, and such like, heresies. Oh, shake them off tonight. Shake them off tonight. Whatever beast, whatever beast operating in your life, in your life. Oh, the beasts have been there for so long. I want you to shake them off tonight. 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 Maybe you are a striker. 
Maybe you are greedy, you're fitty looker. Maybe you are impatient, you are a brawler, you are covetous. Whatever be, selfishness is a beast. Shake it off tonight. Shake it off tonight. Shake it off tonight. In the name of Jesus, shake it off tonight. Shake them off into the fire. The fire is burning already. Shake them off into the fire. Shake them off into the fire. Shake them off into the fire. Thank you, Father. 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 Shake off those bees. Few more minutes. Shake them off. 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 Anger. Shake them off. Shake them off. Shake them off. Impatience. Shake them off. Shake them off. Shake them off. Emotional instability. Shake them off. Shake them off. Into the fire of God. Shake them off. I shake them off tonight in the name of Jesus. Shake them off. Shake them off. Shake them off. Shake them off tonight into the fire. We shake off every beast into the fire. Thank you, Lord. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Wherever you are, just stay there because God, the power of God will consume you. Stretch forth your hand to the altar. May the fire of God consume every beast devouring you. Just like Paul shook off the beast to the fire. May every beast devouring your destiny and family be shaken off right now. Receive your freedom. 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 Oh, receive your freedom. Receive your freedom. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I want you to pray and just pray, Lord, let me manifest your power. Let me manifest your power from today. Let me begin to manifest your power. The whole heart is groaning. They are groaning. They are groaning. They are waiting for you in the land. The whole earth, your neighbors, your co-workers, they are waiting for you to manifest the power of God. I want you to pray. Lord, let me manifest your power. Let me be carrier of your power from tonight. Lord, as I partake in this body and your blood, as I partake in tonight's anointing, let me manifest your power. Let me manifest your power. Let me manifest your power. Everywhere I show up, let me manifest your power. Let me be an expression of your goodness, expression of your love, expression of your power in the name of Jesus. Lord, let me manifest your power. Lord, let me manifest your power. Anoint me today. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and power. I want you to pray. Cry for power. Let me be a carrier of your power. Let me be a carrier of your power. Lord, let me manifest your power everywhere I show up. Even in the land, in the city. Lord, in the city, in the highway, in the byway. Everywhere I show up, let me manifest your power. Lord, let me manifest your power. Let me manifest your power. Whatever I bind or not, let it be bound in heaven. Whatever I lose or not, Lord, let it be loosed in heaven. Lord, release your power. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Lord, release that spirit upon me tonight. Through this meal, through this anointing. Come on, young man, pray. You need it. You need it. Be a witness. You need it. You need it. Young woman, you need it. Young lady, you need it. You need it. Pray. Let me manifest your power. Lord, let me manifest your power. In the name of Jesus, let me manifest your power. In the name of Jesus, let me manifest your power. In the name of Jesus, let me manifest your power from tonight. Arise and shine for your light has come. Oh, let me rise up tonight. Let me rise up tonight. Lord, let me rise up tonight. Let me rise up tonight.
Say the glory of God is risen upon you. The glory of God is risen upon you. Lord, let me be the light in the darkness. Let me be the solution, oh God, for the problems of this land. Lord, let me manifest your power. Let me be the wisdom for the foolishness of this land. Let me manifest your power. Lord, anywhere I show up, let me manifest your power. Let me be the answer, oh God, to the question of this land. Let me manifest your power. Lord, let me manifest your power. Oh, let me manifest your power. He said, you are God. He said, you are God. You are God. Let me manifest your power. The Son of God is a God. You are God. Let me manifest your power. Lord, let me begin to operate in dominion in this land. Let me operate in dominion in this land. Let me operate in dominion. Let me operate in dominion. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. How we manifest your power. I receive the impetus tonight. I receive the grace tonight. I receive the grace tonight. Thank you, Lord. 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 Let me manifest your power. Let me manifest your power, Lord. Let me manifest your power. Everywhere I show up, let me manifest your power. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh, let your image sound like thunder. In Jesus' name we pray. But unto every one of us is giving grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he says, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto all men. May that gift be activated tonight. <laughs> The spirit of service. May that spirit be activated tonight. Every gift dormant in your life. May they be activated tonight. Every insight you need. With this meal tonight. May God bring the insight in the name of Jesus. May this meal activate the power in you. Amen. Ephesians 3.20 And God is able to do exceeding abundantly. More than what we can ever ask or think of. I said, according to the power that works in us. May that power be activated tonight. Power to do exploit. May that power be activated tonight. Power to heal the sick. May that power be activated tonight. Power to rule and to reign in the land. Anywhere you show up. May that power be activated tonight. Power to dominate and not to be dominated. May that power be activated tonight. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name, we we'll pray. Lord, we thank you for this element. We we'll pray your power will flow now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want you to be on your feet. You come to the altar if you want. Something's going to happen in your life tonight. Something extraordinary will happen in your life tonight. 
Blessed be the God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who had blessed us with all spiritual blessings. All spiritual blessings. That's what heaven will release tonight. All spiritual blessings. All spiritual blessings. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. If you have not received the element, shout hallelujah. If you are watching us online, you can get the element as well. And let your faith go viral. You can also activate the power. A lot took place in that Acts 28. A lot took place. In fact, you see the great embrace, the riches of the, the mayor of the land, or whoever is called publishers, welcome Paul into his house. A prisoner. <laughs> when God is there, it's not about your state about your immigration status. It's not about your color. Once God is there, things will open up for you. We go open up the land for you. Oh, receive. I say, may God open up the land for you. A lot to place healings. Uh, someone was healed in his household, then people started, ah, the God. People came. Healings started praying for people. And it's interesting that the writer of the book of Acts was a doctor. Even when people were sick, he wasn't treating them. Paul was laying hand. Oh, you don't get that. The power of God. Is bigger than, higher than human wisdom. It's interesting that Luke documented it. That's why you need power. Hallelujah. At times, I'm saying this, giving glory to God, resuscitating patient. They will say, stop. And within me, I know God will resurrect this. And many have been resurrected. I'm telling you true story. You need power. Need power. And just something within me say, no, don't stop this. Let's keep doing it. Resurrection takes place. May God release power tonight. In 1 Corinthians 11 from verse 23. 1 Corinthians 11 from verse 23. Paul, like Paul wrote, I've received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you that the Lord Jesus the same night in which he was betrayed to bread. And when he had given thanks, oh, we thank you. He broke it and said, take it. This is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Let's partake of the body. Great expression. You can't live here tonight with this power and still be unkind to people. You must express the goodness of God. Express the kindness of God. Remember you shaking up the beast. You can't live here tonight and not be a different person. The great expression. Expression of his love. Everywhere you go, value men, value people, treat people well. The great expression. See God in people. Everywhere you go. Never say riffraff again. Never use statistics to define people again. 
great expression. And after the same manner also, he took the cup when he had stopped saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye. As often as he drink it, remembrance of me. Let's partake of the blood. Just begin to pray. Receive power tonight. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. The altar is open. Want to come and pray. Receive power. You want to pray. Come to the altar. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. <laughs> Receive power tonight. Receive it tonight. Just need to breathe in the grace of God. Receive power tonight. It's coming upon you. You can overcome that beast. You can overcome that beast. Receive power tonight. Receive power tonight. That beast will not destroy you. The voice of the enemies will not prevail over you again. Receive power to stand your ground. Receive power to overcome. Receive power tonight. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. Receive power. It's coming upon you. Yeah, it's coming upon you, young man. It's coming upon you. Receive it. Receive the power tonight. Just open up. Receive the power tonight. Receive the power of God tonight to quicken your mortal body to be a blessing to others. Receive power. It's changing your orientation. It's changing your thought. It's changing your mind. Receive the power tonight. It's changing your desires. Receive the power tonight. Receive it. It's the great expression. Changing your mind. Changing your thoughts. Changing your words. Receive the power. Receive the power. You can serve God. Receive the power. You can serve humanity. Receive the power. You can be a blessing to many. Receive the power. You can be kind. You can be good. You can be loving. Receive the power tonight with this meal. How God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can overcome those desires, the habit, the addiction. Receive the power tonight. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With this meal, may the power of God flow through you. May God transform you from inside out in the name of Jesus. May his grace be sufficient for you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. So I'm going to be doing the anointing for us now in Mark 16. And it's based on this. I want you to believe God. Mark 16. Mark 16. Mark 16. From verses 17 and 18. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. 
The anointing coming upon you will give you that power. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpent. Verse 18. This is what we saw. The life of Paul. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick. And they shall recover. The power of God. These signs shall follow you. What you need is just to believe tonight. The power of God will touch you. How God anointed. Acts 10, 38. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. With the Holy Ghost. And power. Anywhere you see the Holy Spirit. Power follows. Said he went about. So when power is giving, you don't sit down. You go about. You see why Paul was serving? He went about doing good. But seeing all manners of diseases, casting out those that were, you know, possessed of the devils. The Bible says, for God was with him. God would be with you. Oh. The spirit of his presence will be with you. Thank you. Great is your faithfulness to me. Great is your faithfulness.
be on our feet, stretch forth your hands and just believe God. Don't forget the word believe. Let your faith go viral. With this unction, receive power to manifest. Oh, receive it. I said, receive power to manifest. May it be an anointing that will make you function. Come on, manifest His glory. Manifest His love. Manifest His goodness. Manifest His power. Begin to enjoy signs, miracles, and wonders in the name of Jesus. Enjoy miraculous wonder in the name of Jesus. Your beauty will not depart. You will not lose your strength. You will be honored in the land. You will not be despised. You will rise up. Your head will not be buried in shame and sorrow. With this unction, no more distress. No more trouble. No more rejection. No more fainting. No more desolation. No more transgression. No more pollution. No more lamentation, no more captivity, no more banishment, no more affliction, no more darkness in the name of Jesus. Your bones will not be broken. Receive grace and energy in the name of Jesus. You will not be bent. You will not be darkened. You will not be brought into darkness. All your chains will be broken. Your path will not be crooked. You will not be set as a mark for the arrow of the enemies. This anointing will destroy every bear lying in wait for you. Oh, this anointing will destroy every lion in secret places. This anointing will destroy every viper in secret places. Your strength and your hope shall not perish from the Lord. The Lord will reignite your hope. Come on, the Lord will reignite your hope. The Lord will reignite your hope. 
Receive grace to be unstoppable. If you look at the book of Acts, Acts 28, 31. The book ended with one word, unhindered. Unhindered. With this anointing, I decree no more inhibitions. No more hardships. No more impediment. No more blockade on your way. No more dead ends. No more destruction. Oh, you are without encumbrance, without restraint, without hindrance. All doors will open for you. All gates will be lifted. You will not be delayed again. You will not be interrupted again. You will not be stopped again. Manifest in the name of Jesus. Manifest his power in the name of Jesus. Manifest his glory in the name of Jesus. Manifest his love in the name of Jesus. Manifest his goodness in the name of Jesus. Manifest his kindness in the name of Jesus. I speak to every Gideon. Rise up, you are a mighty man of valor. Come on, you are a mighty man of valor in the name of Jesus. I speak to every Abigail, you will fulfill destiny. Come on, you fulfill destiny. You are a woman of wisdom and beautiful countenance. I speak to every Anna. The Lord will answer you with the answer of peace. The Lord will give you an answer of peace. I speak to every soul. God has made you the captain of his inheritance. In the name of Jesus, with this anointing, you will go forward. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Before we finish tonight, uh, we're going to give our offering, but I want to shake hands with 20 people who want to give sacrificial offering. Sacrificial offering. Just come forward. I know you have given the part of the 20. Just come forward and shake your hand. God bless you. Sacrificial offering. Why we give our offering? 20 people. God bless you. If you are watching online, you want to be part of it, you can send message. God bless you. 20 people. Thank you. Three, thank you. Four, thank you. Five, thank you. Six, thank you. Seven, don't delay the service. Come forward. Twenty people. Eight, twelve people left. God bless you. God bless you. Don't be a non-looker. Don't be a spectator. God bless you. Give sacrificial free. Nine, God bless you. Ten, God bless you. Watching online, you want to be part of it, connect to the grace. God bless you. Then, God bless you. Be part of the 20. 11, God bless you. 12, God bless you. God is transferring major wealth. Eight people left. Where are you? God bless you. Just show up online. God bless you. Seven, be part of the 20. God bless you. God bless you. Sacrificial offering tonight. Seven left. God bless you. 13. Who is next? Who are the people? God is speaking to you. God bless you. I know. God bless you. 14. God bless you. Don't resist it. The last word there was unhindered. <laughs> unhindered. No one can hinder you again in the land. 15. Five people left. 16, four people left. Be part of the 20. The Lord show me. Yeah. Two people or three people left. 16, 17, 18. Where's the last person? 19. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's give our offering. Let's give your offering. Don't forget to give tonight. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Let's be on our feet. Lord, we thank you for this anointing. We give you praise for what you've done, for the great escape, the great embrace, the great expression. Return all the glory to you. Or we will not be in that in the land again. We'll be fruitful in the land. 
the dew will fall on us. Every member of Restoration House will feel the blessing. We all have testimonies. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's share the grace together in fellowship. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Love of God. Fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I do in the house of the Lord forever and ever. There's somebody here, the uh, Holy Spirit just want me to tell you, you just need to do your dance tonight because celebration, your celebration is here already. So the choir will lead us in the a danceable song as we as we leave just do your dance tonight your celebration has started start it right now thank you ciao prayer works you done everything for me you done everything for me. You done everything.